um, the, um, um, the, uh, uh, hello? The, um, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, um, I want to say, I look at myself in the mirror, a reflection of this, and I'm really kind of appalled. It's appalling. Uh, we're here shooting a film. We start tomorrow. And, um, uh, and no, I'm not playing Santa Claus. Tragedy on a movie set in New Mexico. Actor Alec Baldwin involved in a deadly shooting. Police say that Baldwin fired a prop gun and killed the film's cinematographer and wounded the director. What do you want to know? All right, Alec, what's the current state of what's going on with the case? I'm not allowed to make any comments because it's an ongoing investigation. I've been ordered by the Sheriff's Department in Santa Fe. I can't answer any questions about the investigation. I can't. It's an active investigation in terms of a woman dying. She was my friend. She was my friend. The day I arrived in Santa Fe to start shooting, I took her to dinner with Joel, the director. We were a very, very, excuse me, we were a very, very, you know, well-oiled crew shooting a film together, and then this horrible event happened. Now, I've been told multiple times, don't make any comments about the ongoing investigation. And I can't. I can't. I can't. That's uh, it. And you met what with... Are the, Sorry. What are the questions that you have other than that? You met with the, uh, the, the, the um, I'm afraid I forget her name in a moment, but you met with her family? Uh, in the Helena. Yes, her name I met is with her Helena. Husband. If you're spending this much time waiting for us, you, you should don't know, know her, her name. name. Her name is Helena. Helena Hutchins. I met with her husband, Matthew, and her son. Yeah, that's right. And uh, how did that meeting go? Uh, I wouldn't know how to characterize it. Uh, they're they're, they're, they're you, mortified. You guys, you guys, you know what? Do, no we, details. But do, do me a favor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer the question. Do you think production will start up again on No, that? I doubt it. Was there anything else? Why Vermont, Alex? Is because that, that's we a just that, no, 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 that's a person. That's part. Yeah, that's part. Anything else? Okay. So just do me a favor, you know what? My kids are in the car crying. Because you guys are following and all I want to do, know. as a courtesy to you, I came to talk to you. I'm not allowed to comment on the investigation. I talk to the cops every day. I talk to them every day to find out. They what know where you are. Of course, of course. Yeah, of I mean, I, I'm of cooperating course. with them, of course. So my point is, is that is it? I'm just asking. We sat down as a courtesy now to talk to you. Now, please, would you just not follow us for the rest? Of, just just, leave us just go home. We gave go you home. everything we could Thank possibly you. give you. Okay? Thank you. Go Condolences. Home. Thank, Thank you. you. Now turn it off. You, you haven't said much in public since that tragic accident. Why, why speak out now? I really feel like I can't wait. And I wanted to come to talk to you to say that I would go to any lengths to undo what happened. I would go to any lengths to undo what happened. I'm sorry. I'm sitting on this, this pew, and so help me God, I sat on that pew right before they called lunch, and I said, this movie has made me love making movies again. Because I used to love to make movies. I did. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You know, people, they have their dreams. No matter how old you are, you have your dreams of people you want to work with. And this movie made me love making movies again. I would do anything in my power to undo what was done. I don't know how that bullet arrived in that gun. I don't know. But. I'm all for doing anything that will take us to a place where we're, it's, this is less likely to happen again. I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to all of the people who sent me such kind words and, uh, you know, best wishes and strength and hope and prayers and so forth and thoughts and lots of encouragement and lots of really, really great um, sentiments from so many people. I got hundreds, hundreds of emails from friends and family and colleagues and people that I, um, some I hadn't heard from in quite a while, to send me uh, uh, strength and uh, good wishes and so forth. And I'm very grateful for that. I want to say thank you to everybody. And online on Instagram, uh, many people commenting um, and saying very, very supportive things about uh, this difficult situation. Um, the. Uh, <clears throat> I hope that you're 
as lucky as I am in one department of that this is your home, that you're home with your family. Uh, I'm home with my family. And uh, um, that's all I've got. You know, that really matters is my family. My wife and my kids who are so, uh, they're my life in every way. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holiday to everybody. And uh, be safe, wear a mask, get the booster. And uh, don't let Santa Claus down the chimney without a mask. Um, I was at a coffee shop here on Long Island and uh, having lunch with a friend of mine and uh, a young woman, you know, like a senior in high school or she, maybe she was in college, I couldn't really tell. She walked by with a guy, she was with a guy her age and he, and she handed me a packet of Splenda. And in, along the perimeter of the package where there was uh, a, a modest amount of space to write on, she wrote me a note on both sides of the package. And um, it was all, you know, so many people care about you or something. You know what I mean? It was like really very, very kind and very thoughtful and very, just, just really so amazing that she handed me this Splenda packet. And I was like, oh, thank you. And she, left and I, she was on her way out when she gave it to me. And I was sitting there and uh, I, I took it home and I, I, I was gonna photograph it, I was gonna screenshot it uh, on both sides. She wrote on both sides of the package, I was gonna screenshot it and then I lost it. I had it in one of my pockets, I'm so overwhelmed. I wonder if I put it somewhere to make it safe and I don't remember where. Uh, I searched for it yesterday, <clears throat> like you would search for your keys or your phone or your wallet. I was obsessed with finding this. I'm still obsessed with finding it because I want to screenshot it. I doubt a packet like that's going to last um, very long, but um, uh, if you are the young woman that gave me the Splenda packet at uh, John Pappas uh, the other day, then send me a message here because I'm very grateful to you. That was so lovely. And I, that meant so much to me. It meant a lot to me. Thank you to everybody who's been kind to me. Somebody wasn't kind to me. One of my kids, I think, smashed me with a toy or a stick or something. I don't remember now. They cut my nose. Uh, I, don't even, I don't even remember how. I came to the house and I was like, whoa. <clears throat> but maybe they were traumatized when they smashed me with the toy. I don't know. But Happy New Year. house, my friend David's house this morning. He came out with his daughter, uh, who's dear friends with my daughter, Carmen, and uh, he had a very unusual <laughs> countenance to him. And he and his daughter proceeded to tell me a story that their neighbor, who lives two doors down from them, went to a store, like a takeout food place, uh, Organic Crush, um, uh, out east here, and uh, the woman who's their neighbor, she found this. I can't, I can't. She found the Splenda packet. She found the Splenda packet. You are 100% true. Thanks for the laughs, good sir. Cheers to a new year, love you. It's <clears throat> the Splenda Packet. Does this mean 2022 is gonna be a good year? 
Wouldn't that be nice? Um, anyway, that is nothing short of a miracle. I'm gonna find out his neighbor's name and I'm gonna send her a gift. I mean, can you believe something as silly as this has that much value? I'm putting it in pockets now, where like I'll never lose it again. But anyway, um... Oh my God. Oh my God. That's amazing, that's a miracle. Uh, one other quick note, any suggestion that I am not complying with requests or orders or demands or search warrants about my phone, that's bullshit. That's a lie. This is a process where one state makes the request of another state. Someone from another state, from another state can't come to you and say, give me your phone. Give me this. Give me that. They can't do that. They've got to go through the state you live in. That is a process that takes time. They have to specify what exactly they want. You can't just go through your phone and take... You know, your uh, your photos or your love letters to your wife or what have you. I, I really don't uh, know. But, <clears throat> but of course, we are 1,000% uh, uh, going to comply with all that. We're, uh, you know, perfectly fine with that. And uh, I have no worries about that. I have no worries about that. That's all going to work itself out, regardless of what they say in these right wing rag sheets and people who are all about hate um, but setting aside all the, the hate setting aside all the January 6th of it all there it is